At its heart, the CRV EFC EV is an electric vehicle. However, rather than depending on one big battery as most battery electric vehicles do, this CRV draws its power from two sources a compact high voltage battery and a hydrogen fuel cell system. It can run on either or both. Both feed their power to the same 174 horsepower electric motor and direct drive transmission, which generates 229 pound feet of torque, providing the kind of fun to drive experience you expect in an electric vehicle. When charged, the 17.7 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery can power the vehicle in EV mode without using any hydrogen. In fact, the CRV EFC EV received a 29 mile all electric range rating from the EPA. When you add the fuel cell system with a full tank of hydrogen, that number jumps to a combined or total 270 mile EPA range rating. This unique arrangement saves the driver time recharging and helps reduce range anxiety. Because of its compact size, a standard level two charger can charge the battery from empty to full in about two hours. A fill up at the hydrogen pump takes less than five minutes. Speaking of hydrogen, let's look at how the fuel cell system makes electric power. The basic technology isn't new. NASA used hydrogen fuel cells to generate all the electrical power on the space shuttles, and there have been many improvements since then. This next generation fuel cell is lighter, smaller, and more durable than the previous Clarity fuel cell. It represents the culmination of over 25 years of Honda research and development and includes many of the latest innovations in fuel cell technology and materials. The system feeds hydrogen gas to one side of each cell and air to the other. Coolant runs on either side to carry excess heat away. The system strips electrons from the hydrogen and routes them as electric current to the vehicle's high voltage battery or the electric motor as needed. When that electric current returns to the fuel cell, the electrons join back up with the hydrogen and the oxygen in the air to create H2O in the form of water vapor. There are no eco-negative emissions, just electricity, water, and heat. When operating at peak efficiency, the fuel cell system can output up to 92.2 kilowatts, which is more than enough to drive the front wheels and charge the battery at the same time if necessary. Of course, there is much more to the hydrogen conversion process than we can cover here. If you would like to know more, go to energy.gov and search for fuel cell. One last note about system control. The button on the center console allows you to choose from one of four e-power modes. When you start the vehicle, the system defaults to EV mode. In this setting, the high voltage battery propels the vehicle exclusively as long as it has a sufficient charge. The system will switch to auto mode when you accelerate aggressively or need extra power to climb a hill. In auto, the fuel cell system and high voltage battery work together to power the front wheels. In save mode, the vehicle draws on the fuel cell system first to conserve the high voltage battery's remaining charge. If you press and hold the e-power button, the system will switch to charge mode and the fuel cell system will start charging the high voltage battery as you drive. So, it's up to you. You can choose which e-power mode best suits your plans. And that, in essence, is how the 2025 CRV EFC EV works. It's an electric vehicle, but it has two different sources of electric power available, a rechargeable high voltage battery and the Honda Next Generation Hydrogen Fuel Cell. We say it's charged, dual power, zero compromise.